And that's the great thing about cold email is that I found a great product. I found the audience who wants that product. I just have to write a compelling message to generate enough people to reply to me. Andrew Hadokovich is a master at gray hat cold emailing tactics. He has sold a bunch of commercial real estate and loans and all of this stuff without using personalized first lines. He's made Lem Lister of the Week multiple times, and he runs several Facebook groups all about cold email and closers. He also has a bunch of SaaS apps around cold email tools like Lead Hype. And today I wanted to talk with him to kind of share his story with you guys and dig into something we don't talk a lot about, which is gray hat cold email tactics. How do you send thousands of emails a day? What does that look like? We go in detail on some of these tactics that I don't normally recommend on this channel, but felt like you should see them because it's part of the cold emailing world and there is a way to be effective with these other techniques. So without further ado, let's get into the interview with Andrew. This video is brought to you by Email 10K. Learn how to book meetings with billion dollar brands and take your company to the next level at email10k.com. Before we jump in, make sure you subscribe to the channel down below and smash that like button. We'd really appreciate it. Just go ahead and hit that and the notification bell, and then you'll be notified every time we make a new video about lead generation or a new interview or anything that we do on here, building in public, etc. So go ahead and subscribe down below. By the way, this interview was filmed down in Orlando, so I apologize if there's any audio issues or anything weird like that. And I apologize for the background being different. Andrew, thanks for coming on. Hey, what's up, Alex? What is up? I am in my parents' house because I was going to hang out with some family and to pick up this watch from Florida. So thanks for coming on. Most people, if they're clicking on this video, probably don't know who you are. I respect you in the cold email space. You run cold email closers. You spun up a bunch of software projects. You're doing real estate. And I think the best way to start is, who are you? What is what is your background? Let's let's go into that first. Yeah, so who am I? Um, ask myself that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I started really getting, my, my whole marketing career began, began in real estate. Um, my grandfather left me a, a couple dollars and I thought the best thing to do was to be responsible and I blew half of it and I had half <laughs> left. I said, listen, I got to be responsible with this last half. Uh, I ended up uh, purchasing a property out in uh, Denver, uh, a two family property. I, I became obsessed with learning how to crunch numbers to see if a deal would uh, cash flow. Uh, learned about the 1% rule. The house has to make at least 1% per month of all that good stuff, right? So throughout this journey, if you want to call it a journey, I learned about hard money lending because we wanted to get additional investments. And hard money lending is essentially high interest loans that are short term made for real estate investors. And that's when I learned about brokering. You know, I, I asked, I'm, I'm always very curious. I always ask a ton of questions. Um, so I asked, you know, one of my buddies in the finance space, you know, hey, if I refer someone to you, can, uh, do you guys give like a, a referral fee? They said, yeah, we'll, we'll give you 1%, one point of the loan amount. And you know, some quick quick math in my head, I'm like, thousands, that's thousands of dollars. So um, I was also learning about, uh, it's called credit card stacking, uh, building lines of credit, uh, zero interest introductory credit cards. You know, you get four or five of them after 18 months that you, uh, they're interest free for 18 months. And then uh, you swap them out, you do a balance transfer onto a new card. Uh, and I, I became obsessed with finance. Um, I asked that person, hey, you know, if I refer someone to you, do you give a, um, a referral fee? They said, yeah, we give a 3%, 3.5%, something ridiculous on, on the lines of credit. So I got curious. I said, well, where, how could I market this to, you know, to people? And that this was maybe 2012-ish, maybe 2011. That was my real first, you know, besides me being uh, 12 years old, passing up business cards for uh, my landscape business, that this was my real first uh, marketing venture. So I posted ads. I spent maybe $300 on ads and I made $2,400. Uh, I got phone calls all day from those Craigslist ads. 
I learned how to sell lines of credit instantly. And I made $2,400 off of $300 in like two weeks. And I, I thought I struck gold. That's when I learned about really virtual assistants overseas. So that's when I started hiring people on Fiverr for a dollar an ad to post ads for me. And then we started posting, you know, $300 worth of ads a day, hired a, uh, someone to um, answer calls for me. And, and you know, the, the rest is a uh, history. You're running cold email closers. This is how we bumped into each other. You're running cold email yeah. closers. You joined email 10K. I saw you as a lem lister of the week. So you're in this world. <laughs> how does how did that happen and what's going on there? I I, I try not to be a uh, mainstream, I guess. Uh, I try to stay hidden. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, how I got into cold email was also through real estate finance. So, for example, and I'm giving I'm giving your, your viewers some secrets right now. So one list that I, I really learned to make um, was if you go online and search for, you know, if you're on a Google search, you search at Gmail and then you'll start finding, you know, email data databases. Uh, so I was looking for commercial real estate agents at Gmail and I found, you know, databases with thousands and thousands of these commercial uh, real estate brokers. And I was like, wait a second, I can target these people using email. And um, I was using, I, I didn't know any of the rules, you know, the cold email rules. I was using a, your listing mail provider, YLMP. And I was sending, um, you know, 100,000 emails and, and most of them were going, you know, low inbox rate going to spam, you know, 10%. But I was offering financing to commercial agents as a broker. And, you know, through, the, through the, that campaign, I still have people in my network that I still talk to on a, on a monthly basis. You know, I have uh, hedge fund owners, people that raise capital. Um, What's interesting really... about that is, so you're selling something that's so in demand, it's free money. They need money <laughs> yeah, for their project. Yeah. You're giving them money. So even when you're spamming them out, mm -hmm. they still need the money. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like there is something to picking those extremely highly in demand industries mm -hmm. that kind of sell themselves. Cause that, ta that tactic seems like, I mean, it worked great in that mm -hmm. kind of industry where it's not highly competitive. Um, yeah, so, so the, the the trick is finding the best money product, you know, um, the best lending terms, the best lending rates, and now you have a hook. Now I have a hook, I can send it in a cold email and get someone to reply to me. You know, he, look at, listen to these rates. A real estate investor wants to know rates. He doesn't care who you are, what rates do you have? You know, so I send people rates. Hey, listen, we, we're working with this type of rates. Is this something you would consider? Is this something you want to discuss further? Do you want me to send you a soft quote? You know, are you working on any projects? You know, those are my, my call to actions on those types of campaigns. What do you think of the interview so far? Are there any questions you would have asked Andrew? Let me know down in the comments. Let's get a conversation going. That's so interesting. So what, has that changed? Are you still doing the spam? Has that, so as you've been learning cold email and learning some of these yeah. tactics, I know you're kind of doing a hybrid model. You're not doing the personalized first line. And actually that was one reason why I wanted to, to talk to you on here because a lot of people hate the first lines. Mm -hmm. it's, it's hard work to do. And you found a way to increase the volume of the emails that you're sending, still see good results. And it sounds like you're not spending too much time on what you're doing. No. so. I have a team of four people and their full-time job is managing my cold email campaigns. It, whether it's manual list building, I, I mean, the, we're, we're managing right now over 400 domains, over 400 G Suite emails, paying, you know, $6 a month for all those emails. And it takes a full team to manage those emails. To, whenever I start a campaign, it might take two or three days worth of labor to copy and paste all the messages into each one of those uh, setting accounts. So um, the trick is now, you know, finding quality quality uh, emails. So um, I think I'm, I think I might have veered off topic a little bit on you, but um, no, keep going. It, it takes great. it, yeah, it takes a team to uh, to run the volume that we're running um, while not burning accounts, not while not burning emails. You, you might call, yeah, I know you use the word spam. Um, I do not want to harm our finance brokerage brand. You know, I cannot harm it. Um, but that's the cool thing about this niche is that I'm offering money, just like you said. You know, anyone would be curious. Hey, Alex, I have, you know, 
I have a, a offer to give you some money. You know, your first thing is, well, is it expensive? You know, like, like, well, what type of there's rates are you going to There's several levels too, because there's, there's a lot of spam in the real estate business. Like for instance, yeah. anytime, so I, I own a building and I get all this mm -hmm. spam all the time. And I even get mm -hmm. spam from my parents. They'll call me and it's mm -hmm. just nonsense. Like people offering to buy the house, like no one cares about any of that. <laughs> but you're offering money. Like if someone offered me money right now, I'd be like, yeah. all right, yeah, I've got a couple of properties I'm looking at. Maybe I need Yeah, do you, do you have any projects? <laughs> Would you like a soft quote? Yeah, exactly. You know, a, a soft quote doesn't even pull your credit. Like like there's no harm in it. Like mm -hmm. let's just sit down and find out what we what the rates would be. So that's that's the easy sell, the easy pitch. And that's the great thing about cold email is that I found a great product. I found the audience who wants that product. I just have to write a compelling message to generate enough people to reply to me. What do you think we're doing wrong, specifically me, in terms of the way that we're teaching cold email? Are we holding people back? And what, what would you change if you were in my position and you ran email 10K? If I ran email 10K, um, I don't think that you're teaching people wrong. Um, I think it's actually necessary. If you taught people to do what I am doing, uh, the people would fail <laughs> at a very fast rate. You know, we're talking about managing hundreds of domains and emails, um, learning to f have, we have a system when we burn a domain that we have to check for how many emails are going to spam, delete that domain, purchase a new domain, where most people I've found, they believe that they're doing something wrong if the email goes, to, it starts going to spam. You know, the thing is, well, I did everything perfect. Why am I in spam? And, and that's just part of the game. You know, so like the faster that they get to spam, the more likely they're going to feel defeated. That's that's not something uh, that you want to teach people. My co-founder, Robert, and my sales team at X27 always hate on me because we send emails at scale. <laughs> Sometimes they go to spam, same way. So this is always something I'm kicking around. Like, what is the best possible way to teach this to people in a way that doesn't encourage spammers, but still gets them massive results? <sighs> Do not start with more than, you know, five sending accounts. You know, if, if you start with, you know, 20 sending accounts, you, first of all, you're going to screw them all up. Eventually, they're all going to start going to spam. You're going to think that you wasted money. You're, you're not going to properly be, unless you have a beautiful sales team, you're not going to be managing the leads properly. You know, there's there's um, so many different aspects to it. You know, um, once you get into the volume, things get chaotic, real chaotic. But uh, I like to think of myself as a organizing chaos. So. Andrew, where should people go if they want to find more information on you? Our Facebook group is Cold Email Closers. We own the company leadhype.com. That's really it, leadhype.com, Cold Email Closers. Cool. Thanks for being here. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, Alex. If you're struggling to get clients that pay you what you deserve and you want a quick path from zero to 10K a month in your agency, check out email10k.com. You can see that. We'll link it right down below and you can check that out. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to smash that like button to encourage this type of content on YouTube. Subscribe for more videos like this, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. I'm Alex Berman.